What's going on guys? This is EJ here, joining you guys for a daily shave. Today we're going to be reviewing Sakura Musk from Dr. John's, and this is in the new V3 formula. So, really excited to be here, so let's just get right into it. I have never used a Dr. John's product before, but from my understanding it is, it is a very, very great vegan-based soap, and to the texture, it is a very firm, yet kind of soft soap. So we're going to be using that today. For our brush, we're going to be using the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Silver Tip Badger Brush, already soaking within the uh, Crystal Skull. And then for today's razor, is going to be the Shapeways 3D Printed Safety Slant Razor. And to finish it all off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the matching aftershave splash right here. So let's get my face wet. So as I stated, I never used a uh, Dr. John's product before, so this is going to be a first experience for me, and I think it gives the best reviews when you do, you know, first impressions. So we're just going to go ahead and just lather straight from the tub. <clears throat> and already I can tell right away the brushes are already starting to fill up pretty nicely, but we're just going to go ahead and keep going. And it has a laundry list of ingredients for their V3 formula that I'm pretty sure if you guys, you know, look it up on West Coast Shaving's website, you can go ahead and read them all down. But it is a huge laundry list of very, very great natural ingredients. But as you can already tell, it's looking really good already. We're just going to just load up a little bit more and then we'll get going. And then we'll just add more water as we go along. Because at least for my lather, I like to start off dry and then add water as I go. So I find that nice sheen that I'm looking for. But in terms of the lather, no problems whatsoever. Put that down. And right away, with the Sakura Musk, it is a cherry forward scent, at least to my nose, with the hint of musk. But it smells phenomenal. It doesn't give me a reminiscent of a cough drop or anything like that. So it's really, really nice. So as you can tell right now from my lather, it's a little dry, but we're going to keep working through it and then add water. So really excited to be here. You know, giving the shout outs to West Coast Shaving for giving me the opportunity to, you know, do some daily shaves with you guys. So as you can tell, it's a little dry. And the reason why I picked the uh, 3D, 3D printed safety razor because that has major audible feedback. So you can hear, most definitely, the whiskers being removed. Alright, kind of getting there. No issues lathering whatsoever. And I have a loaded fresh Voskhod blade in the in the rig. All right, let's give this a go. And you can hear that. And so far, so good. Slickness is there. Great cushion. Like that. Let's say the shape's coming 
all in quite nicely right now. So right away, the soap has no problem whatsoever giving a nice, comfortable shave. At least from my first experience so far, we'll see how the post shave goes, but right now, as I'm about to be lather, as I wet my face, residual slickness is decent. I wouldn't call it elite, but it is decent enough to where you can get, you know, some buffer passes in if you really wanted to. But as I rinsed off my face, the post shave is great. Really, really, really good. And I'm really digging this brush, you know. Uh, I have plenty of brushes. I've been enjoying a plethora of luxurious knots, but you know, taking it back to a simpler time when silver tips were the top dog, I gotta say, it is a very good brush. Especially for the price, too. Because back then, silver tips were expensive. And now we're fortunate and spoiled as wet shavers, especially for people who have been veterans of the hobby, to see how much we've grown from when we first started. Because back then, you know, having a Simpson today is pretty much like, or sorry, having a Simpson back then is like having a declaration today, you know? Simpsons back then was, you know, like the, the all-time luxury brush, the uh, Chubby 2 Super Badger. Still great brushes, by the way. I never used them personally. But, good to go. And I really dig it with cherry scent. It's very, very nice, you know? You wouldn't think, you know, a cherry scented soap wouldn't smell so good, but they really knocked it out of the park. with this one. face fur around my neck kind of grows in this sort of kind of direction so in order for me to get a nice smooth shave I kind of got to go across right here but this is just a second pass but I can tell you right now I'm thoroughly enjoying the shave especially for a first time use for the soap Excellent. Go ahead, lather up for the final and third pass. <clears throat> and what I love about the soap, even though I didn't do it so much applying to my face because the brush is retaining some good water, is that it can actually take on water quite well. It's not a very, very thirsty soap by any means, at least so far from what I'm experiencing, but you can add little bits of water and keep on lathering. This brush is really great for those who like the painting motion because it has Decent backbone, not so much, it was a little, as you can tell, it has more of a flop to it, but that's okay. It's, it's good for when you want to get that nice even coating when you paint on your lather, you know? You do your circular motions to build it up, 
then you smooth it out with your paint strokes. Add a little bit more water. So it's a thin layer of lather for me at least because by my third pass most of the hair is already gone. This is just more or less trying to just get that nice clean glass finish and just have as much slickness as possible. But if I keep working at it, you can definitely get a very thick lather again. Feel around. Getting under, in, underneath the nose is pretty risky for some folks, but I got used to it. And just feel around. Clean up any remaining spots that you may need to touch upon. Nice, nice, very nice. So, all right. Pat my face dry. And right away, skin feels nice and smooth. No pulling nor tugging from the dryness of when you rinse off certain soap that you may have used either in the past or currently used. But that's what aftershave is for if that ever does come to it. But as of right now, the there's no tightening of the skin. Feels nice, refreshing, very smooth. A little supple, not too much, but other than that, pretty damn fine shave. I really can't, yeah, I have no complaints. There's no cuts, no weepers. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Then we're gonna go ahead before we finish off with the aftershave, just a quick rundown of everything we used. So the highlight of today was West Coast Shavings Limited Edition Sakura Musk V3. Great stuff. We used our two-tone color Silver tip badger brush from Wishco Shaving as well. Excellent brush. The razor today was the Shapeways 3D printed shark bone razor. There you go, that's the name of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the splash. Oh, and I forgot, the blade is the uh, Voskot blade. So right away, in terms of the splash, I get more cherry than anything if there's like no musk in there whatsoever. But that's at least just to my nose. That's what I personally smell. Everyone's smell is entirely different. And rubbing it in your hands, ah, oh, man, it just smells so good. And no sting, no burn, because I believe this is a witch hazel base with some rose water. So you're not going to get that bite that you would from traditional aftershaves. But I can tell you right now, it smells very, very good. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps up my shave. Um, like I said, very happy to be here. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.